When you think about fishing in the state of Mississippi, undoubtedly you think about the famous crappie corridor along I-55 of lakes Enid and Sardis and Grenada and all those giant three pound plus crappie available there. But what you might not know about are the abundance of smaller state parks scattered all over this state. We're going to explore one of those on this week's episode. I'm glad you're along with us. Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That is a fish. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> It's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the Southeast region every week. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Woo! This is Let's Fish. Well, howdy, everybody. If you haven't done much traveling extensively around the state of Mississippi, you may not realize or know about some of the beauty and the scenery that's available in this state and some of the excellent fishing opportunities that abound all over the Magnolia State. We're gonna explore a new one of those that we've never been to on this week's episode. I'd like to welcome you in right now to beautiful Lake Lincoln State Park. It's located just outside the city of Wesson, Mississippi, which is about 45 minutes south of Jackson, Mississippi. Now, this state park has got all kinds of facilities for camping and RVing and fishing at fishing piers. Now, it's got lots of standing timber, hardwood trees, pine trees surrounding it. It's got some fishing piers, lots of shoreline accessibility in case you don't have a boat. And the lake is loaded with fish. We hope to catch some bass and maybe a crappie or two while we're out there today exploring. And while we're doing that, we're taking you around your local region for this week's fishing report from our expert team of insider reporters from lakes, rivers, and bays right near you, both saltwater and freshwater. See where you might head out to catch some this weekend. Right now, we're gonna take the boat down the boat ramp launch it. Next time you see me, I'll be out on Lake Lincoln, Mississippi, hopefully catching a bass. Right now, let's get things started. Back at the studio and your weekend planner. Hello, these salooner tables are predicting good game fish activity on both days this weekend. Peak times begin at 104 on Saturday and 139 Sunday afternoon. The best time to fish in the dark will begin after midnight at 1253 on Saturday and 129 Sunday night. Depending on your local area, expect the sun to rise around 713 and set at 748 and evenings will feature a new moon. Stay with us, we've got fishing reports from across the area on the way. Plus, I'll return with Bassmaster Elite Angler Stetson Blaylock, who stops by to answer your Ask a Pro question. There's one. Got one. Oh, he's swimming straight to me. Oh, darling. Good one. Big one. Slow down, darling. Slow down, baby. Slow down, baby. Slow down. What a freight train. Good Lord. Wow, look at this. How's this to start the day? What a powerhouse. What a powerhouse. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh, baby. Man, I got me a big one to start the day. There is you, a Lincoln Lake largemouth bass, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that big sow. Good grief. Well, we've got a good start, how about that? That's a easy, maybe six pound bass or so. Maybe even a little bigger than that. Pitched in around this grass, pulled it out away from it. And that one just inhaled it. He ate my Strike King Ocho. I'm gonna put that fish back and I'll explain to you what we're doing here and a little bit about Lincoln Lake. Here we go, Lake Lincoln Bass. You get to go back. 
Well, there you have it. That fish bit a wacky rigged Strike King Ocho. I'll show that to you a little closer at the end of the show, but that's a dynamite little bait for real shallow water like we've got. And that, was, that fish was right off that grass bed right there in real shallow water. Lincoln Lake, or I should say it correctly, Lake Lincoln State Park is located just to the east of Wesson, Mississippi. And it's got a 550 acre fishing lake on it, which is what we're on. It's got several different arms and fingers and creeks running off of it. It's not just a round bowl. It's got a lot of character to it. The deepest water in here is about 25 feet deep, but most of the water you're going to be fishing here is real shallow. So we're off to a great start at Lake Lincoln. Let's see what else we can catch here before this day's out. Big old bass to start it with. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama report. It's brought to you by TH Marine. Uh, One-stop shop for all your aftermarket boating needs, uh, tournament accessories, just boating products in general that were designed to make your boating life better. Whether you're fishing, recreational boating, no matter what, go to thmarine.com and check it out. Hey, um, let's talk about where to go and what to do right now. Let's start in Mississippi. And I had a buddy turn me onto this place uh, and that's the Pascagoula River. Um, he said the, the Oxbow bike for bass is really good right now. Cranking a square bill, a bladed jig, and, and he says lay downs, um, log jams, and things like that, wood cover are key right now. In Alabama, sorry, but we're going to Gunnersville. It is the time of year where you go to Gunnersville and you go throw a quarter ounce slipless bait, you go throw a like a one foot running crankbait and, and fish it around grass in spawning coves and hold on. You just cover water all day. It is a blast. Catch big ones, big spawn, throw them back. Um, Tennessee, Center Hill, no doubt. I uh, went there a couple weeks ago, caught a bunch of fish on a spinnerbait. Um, and they say, I was told this morning by someone who knows, the same bite's happening, it's just bigger fish have moved up now. So if you want to get bit, come here and get you some. We'll see you when you get here. God bless you. There he is. Got him. Got another one. There we go. Boy, they are mad fish on Lake Lincoln. They do not like me doing to them what I'm doing to them. There we go. There's another one. Hooked him right in the tongue. He's bleeding a little bit. Let's see if I can get that hook out of there where it'll stop all that. There we go. There we go. Another nice Lincoln bass for you right there. Beauty. And away another one goes. Well, I want to tell you a couple more things about Lake Lincoln. There's a lot of wildlife around here. Uh, number one, you need to be aware if you're going to come put an RV here or stay in one of the cabins, there are a lot of alligators around here. I've fished around several of them back in these pockets and coves, so just be aware of that, especially if you've got little pets running around. So there's just a lot of beautiful wildlife and a lot of scenery around here. There's actually several of these state park lakes uh, in the southern half of Mississippi. In fact, I'll just throw up a quick list of a few of them. And uh, one of the ones is a little bit south of here, and it's down by Macomb, Mississippi, Percy Quinn State Park, and it's got another lake that's just about the same size as this one. So there are a lot of these dotted around here. They're just an excellent resource. One thing I will tell you is the bass fishing, the quality here is good, but you're not gonna come and catch a huge number of bass here. I'll just warn you about that in advance. The fish here are a little finicky, these smaller lakes, that's one of the characteristics, is that the fish see a lot of lures when you've got a small lake like this. So they do get a lot of fishing pressure. And so you've got to use some, I'm using some kind of stealth tactics here. I've got this little soft plastic jerk bait that I'm throwing in here and twitching it along real slow. And I've got fluorocarbon line here so they can't see it. So I'm trying to be pretty stealthy about doing this. But you're not going to come catch 30 or 40 bass in a day most days. But the quality of the bass here is really good. Lake Lincoln. I am a fan. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury. Go boldly.
Lorant, America's number one fish finder. Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Plan or book your fishing charter at orangebeach.com. Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor, powered by passion. There we go. Thunder Cricket, get in here with me. There we go, how about that? Good bass. There we go. Thunder cricket. Get in here with me. There we go. How about that? Caught one on a moving bait. Welcome back, everybody. We're in Mississippi today at Lake Lincoln State Park, which is a gorgeous place. And if you want to come catch some good largemouth bass like that right there, you can do that. And you can catch you some crappie, you can catch you some catfish, but I like that right there. Well, I'm uh, kind of figuring something out. I'm catching some of these fish, throwing toward the shore, but the fish aren't up against the shore. So I'm throwing this Thunder Cricket, which is a bladed jig that dives down and I'm just slow grinding it. And there's some shallow water out here and it comes out couple of feet and then falls off into about eight feet of water and they seem to be running up and down that little ledge right there so what I'm trying to do is kind of parallel it quarter it throw it about a 45 degree angle up into that two foot water and then pull it off right about there to that eight foot drop off and that seems to be where some fish are holding and I've had trouble getting them to hit a a faster moving bait like this today. I've, I've caught a few fish on a, a little small worm, little, uh, I call it a trick worm, little finesse worm that Strike King makes. But this Thunder Cricket puts off a lot of vibration in the water and that blade puts off a lot of flash. This is a cool bait to fish and a cool lake to fish too when you just first drive up to this lake and you look at it, you think, man, the shoreline is about all there is to fish. And the longer I've stayed here today and the more I've looked around, the more different stuff I found to fish that's out off the shoreline. Let's see what else we can find out. Hey y'all, it's time for that Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia Coastal Fishing Report. But first, this segment's brought to you by me, Captain Patrick Garmison. My company is Ugly Fishing here in Southwest Alabama, uh, fishing Mobile Bay, targeting just about anything that swims. Right now we're targeting sheephead. Sheephead is on fire. Targeting them in, in near shore structures, uh, just outside of the beaches, uh, gas rigs and, and uh, near shore wrecks. Send your fresh dead shrimp or live shrimp down into that zone and hang on. That fishery will hold up for another probably two to three weeks in our area. Uh, the same thing's coming out of Mississippi. I talked to Ronnie Daniels from Pash Christian, Mississippi, and he said that the sheephead bite's been on fire. Speckled trout has been a little bit hit and miss, and the redfish have been really good in the Biloxi Marsh. Over in Georgia coast, I talked to Tim Cole. He said that the whiting bite is good. He said there's a few triple tails starting to show up and the sheephead bite is starting to taper off in their area, but it's still going good and it's worth targeting. So thanks for joining us this week. And in the words of my buddies from the Speckle Truth, keep what you need and leave the rest. God bless, guys. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors, making it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Visit Mississippi. Wanderers welcome. Powerful, total boat control. Balls out, made in the USA. Heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. But I got back up here in a cove and started throwing up against the bank and caught a really nice one.
Hey, welcome back everybody. We're still on Lake Lincoln in Mississippi and I'm seeing a few crappie. There's one, got him. On my active target here and I wanted to come out and show you a crappie or two. Let's see, yeah, there's a crappie. There we go. I wanted to show you a crappie or two. We've caught some bass and there's a Lake Lincoln crappie. That would be a keeper. No giant or anything. But I want to tell you a couple of things about the crappie fishing here. Um, we're just outside of Wesson, Mississippi, about 45 minutes south of Jackson at Lake Lincoln State Park. And we've caught some really nice bass, including that big six pounder, the very first one you saw us catch on the show. But now I've moved out off the shore and I'm looking around for some underwater brush, trying to catch a couple of crappie. And I've caught three or four, showed you that one. One cool thing is that the Mississippi Wildlife Department has come in here and put in a bunch of fish attractors, brush piles, some artificial, some natural, and they've sunk them in several different locations around this lake, and they've shared those with the public so you can come fish the ones that they put out. Now, they're not marked by any buoys or anything like that. You've got to find them with your electronics. You've got to have a fish finder but the GPS coordinates for those are on their website. You can catch some crappie, and that was one of them right there. I got right over the top of a little piece of brush. There was a crappie laying in it. I could actually see him on my Lawrence Active Target. I'm using my fishing specialties pole here, and uh, it's got a transducer on the end of it. There you go, I can barely get it out of the water there, but I'm able to scan around and actually see these brush piles, these fish attractors, and see if there's any fish in them. And there are a few crappie scattered around in them. So I've caught a few, no big ones, put together a nice mess of crappie if you want to, in addition to the bass fishing here at Lake Lincoln. Let's see what else happens here. Here's one. Got him. Out of that little muddy spot right there. Be a bass, be a nice one. Come up. Can't see him. There he is. Oh, it's a good bass. Good one. Yeah, we've got us a Lake Lincoln bass right here. Come here. Come here. What a nice one on my little trick worm right there. But I got back up here in a cove and started throwing up against the bank and caught a really nice one right up just off those patches of grass right there in front of us. All right, we're gonna let him go back. Thanks, buddy, appreciate the business. And away he goes. That's a beautiful fish right there. Well, you've got so many choices here to fish. You've got, uh, you've got some roads that have got riprap along them. You've got a lot of brush and trees that are down under the surface of the water. You've got a lot of shoreline grass. You've got big pine and hardwood trees that have fallen off in the water. The choices here are just limitless. And, so I pulled out my spinning rod and put on that little worm that's got just a tiny little weight in the head and hadn't been fishing it very long and that one hit it. So, uh, so you've got some, all this water's pretty shallow, really the deepest water I found in the lake was probably 20, 25 feet out in front of the dam. But most of the rest of the lake is eight feet and less and a lot of really shallow cover right along the shoreline. And I'm sure these fish live in it pretty much almost year round without any real deep water to go to without a lot of structure out there. So hang with us. We're having a great day on Lake Lincoln, Mississippi. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Luz, Feel the Difference, Mamba Boats, Ride with Pride, Strike King, Tie One On, Glacier Glove, Stay Outdoors Longer with our gloves, hats, and shades, Fishing Specialties, makers of the premier mount assembly for live sonar. Welcome back, everyone. Let's get right on to your Ask the Pro question for this week. Billy wants to know, what was it about fishing that got you hooked on it? 
For an answer, we asked Bassmaster Elite Angler Stetson Blaylock. What really set the hook into me, per se, as far as tournament angling and fishing in general, uh, all the time, every chance I got was the competition. Uh, for me, I loved basketball at a very young age, but I realized that I probably wasn't going to make it very far in basketball because I was always small. Uh, and fishing was another way to stay competitive and, and just experience the thrill of winning and the agony of defeat. But fishing tournaments for me is really what got me into fishing and wanting to do it more and more and more. Thanks so much, Stetson. If you want some help from one of the pros too, simply go to letsfishtv.com. Follow that, ask the pro link to submit a question. Here's today's Right Stuff, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. It's time for the Right Stuff feature, brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. The Right Stuff, if you want to come do what we did and catch some of these bass and crappie. And it begins with my first chance to use the new Loose Team Loose Signature Series rods designed by some of the top pros on the professional tours. The casting rod is a seven foot medium action designed by Kevin Van Dam. It's perfect for what we were doing here, catching these big old bass. And the spinning rod is designed by Mark Zona. It's also a seven foot two inch medium action rod. I had the casting rod paired with the Loose BB1 Pro bait cast reel. Again, perfectly balanced for this setup. And on the spinning side, that's the Loose Team Loose Hyper Mag reel. Again, perfect for this type of a spinning setup. As far as the lures were concerned, I caught a couple of bass on the Strike King Thunder Cricket. It's a bladed jig, as you see there. And then the plastic baits. I used the little finesse bait. That's the five inch Strike King finesse worm paired on a little bitty lead jig head with just enough weight to hold it below the surface. And then I caught most of the bigger fish today on the Strike King six inch Ocho soft plastic jerk bait. I had it rigged on an open hook. That's about a four aught open short shank hook. As we've traveled all across the southern half of the country over the last few years, there's one comment that people come up and make to us that happens over and over again. They say, we love your fishing show, but we really love that little part at the end. Well, that little part at the end is called Stuff That Matters. It's a project that we began four or five years ago that deals with touching people's lives right where they live with the things that matter more than fishing. Things like marriage, raising kids, social values, and faith, and the list goes on and on. Now, I love fishing a lot, but the list of things that's more important to me than fishing is even longer. We appreciate you watching our show, but we really appreciate what you have to say about stuff that matters. If you would like some more information on Lake Lincoln State Park, where we fished today and caught all those big old bass, you can get that information along with information on many other small state parks scattered all over Mississippi that also have great fishing available at the web address you see at the bottom of your screen. Whether it's Lake Lincoln here or any of these other fantastic Mississippi state parks, I think you would enjoy the trip as much as we did coming here. We'll see you next week. Until then, I'm Barry Stokes saying let's fish everybody. Be safe, have fun. Bye-bye, y'all.